Hello everyone, this is Chris. I just worked on my layout today. I finally got around to trying to see how things are going to work out. You can see the track is actually over the edge of the table. And that's because I redesigned my track plan and after I'd already built the table. <clears throat> the reason I did that was because I wanted to keep my mainline minimum curve to 072. And originally I had drawn it so that the outer curve on the one main line was 072 and the inner curve was 063. So I decided to change that, make the inner curve 072 and the outside curve 081. This is Atlas track. And <clears throat> I'm also going to add another track even on farther outside than that with a switch over there. And that's going to be a lead that goes down to a staging yard and it's going to go around there and actually come out even farther but it's going to be on an incline going down and it's going to follow the edge of the table all the way down and go to a four track staging so I've laid out my track according to my diagram that I made this is what my track plan is going to look like hopefully I used Atlas Railroader software to do this. It's roughly, I guess, 25 by 18 feet long. And you can see these are the curves on the right side that I'm working on. And the very outside curve is going to be actually Gargrave's track, not Atlas, where it says I have 081 and 090. I'm not going to use that. I'm going to make a curve using the uh, Gargraves. And then once that track comes down a little farther, it goes into a switch and it'll be actually two tracks that go down to the staging, which will loop, loop around underneath my table over here. Like this is going to curve and go underneath this table and make four track loops and come back up, up here. But what I've designed is a basically a two track main line on the outside with a passenger yard and a freight yard. So right here I'm going to put a passenger station and <clears throat> there'll be, you know, through tracks through the passenger station. And then I have some freight tracks here. And this is going to be my engine terminal. I'm going to have an engine shed here and some other storage tracks for engines. And over here, we have a reverse loop going around because I wanted to be able to turn my trains around. And these th three tracks here will be some type of a, maybe I'll use my coal ramp and uh, some other industries like probably uh, grain, grain silos have maybe a, a town over here because over on this side I've got a Y and over here these stub ended tracks here are going to be uh, industries so that at the end of each track or at each track there'll be at least uh, one industry and I wanted to be able to come in and have a run around track which I do there and also have uh, a way to have a third loop in the center here to run a third train. And all the tracks are interconnected with crossovers here, crossover there. And then this is like be the leads into the yard. So I, <clears throat> I had to pack everything in it seemed like, but I think there will be some space for scenery and little buildings here and there. Uh, I'll give you an overall shot here. Of course that's the back wall. Then over as you go past that wall over there will be the the loops over there with the industries. And down there will be the passenger yard and the freight yard. Once I clear all the junk off. 
And it, back there I have an access hatch where I'll be able to come up and uh, work on things. But <clears throat> it's going to take some, take a while. I'm going to actually have foam on top of this plywood, two inch thick foam, which will give me capability of adjusting the terrain for uh, drainage and some variety in scenery if I want to go below the track and have a culvert or and on top of the foam I'm actually going to add homosote so it's going to be like three two and a half inches higher than what this board is now which is about 42 inches off the floor but that's all I have for you right now. I guess I can show you. This is a number seven and a half Atlas switch. And this is on the main line. The, the track to the left is actually the main line. And if going straight, it'll be a, a dead end track for uh, passenger car, like baggage loading and uh, other mail and express cars will be down that track. I wanted, you know, not any sharp uh, curves on my uh, main line, so I used the number seven and a half. And that's 072 regular curve switch. And over there, that switch is a curved Ross switch. That's 096 and 072. But that's all I have for you right now. <clears throat> Just wanted to try out, see how close the trains were to each other. These are four and a half inch centers, the track is. And they seem to have plenty of clearance. Take care, I'll talk to you later.